What's up world, you know who it is, your man k Roll, Automotive Rhythms, and welcome to another track session in Nevada. We got something feisty for you today. Yes, it's Japan Supercar, the 2009 Nissan GT-R. A true superstar, this baby is fast. I'm talking about Speedy Gonzalez fast. How about zero to 60 in under 3.5 seconds? That makes it quicker than a lot of your favorite supercars. You wanna see the Believe? Follow my lead. Enter the Japanese, the best at giving you more for less. It's the 2009 Nissan GTR. Nissan went with a dual clutch, six speed transmission and a rear wheel bias all wheel drive system. Up to 50% of the vehicle's torque can be shifted to the front wheels when needed. The GTR's top speed is 193 miles per hour while it halts from 60 to zero in less than 110 feet. Just got in the, the new GTR, fresh on the scene, coming out this summer. You know, a lot of people, they really didn't have faith in a, a Japanese supercar, but the, the GTR, man, the derivative of the Skyline, it's, it's it. The GTR is like war. It's easy getting in and hard getting out. This vehicle is not just fast, it's very fast. The original GTR was launched in 1969 as a trim level to the Skyline. Now, the all new 2009 version features a 3.8 liter hand-built twin turbo V6, 480 horsepower. You heard? Standard wheels are 20 inch Ford aluminum, 9.5 inch front and 10.5 inch rear. Back at you on the track, we're out here with Steve Millen, one of Nissan's previous drivers. We're in front of his lab car, the red GTR. Do you know, this car's the most amazing car I've ever driven on a racetrack. For a street car to drive as well as this one does at a racetrack is amazing. The technology in this car, it's incredible. I saw myself doing 120, uh -oh. it felt like I was doing 60. Yeah. I really thought I was doing yeah. around 60, 70. Yeah. I mean, because it's so pure, I'm in fourth gear and it's doing 120. Well, it's everything. It's the weight distribution of the car is very, very important. The engine is amazing. It has so much low end torque and strong horsepower. Um, but it, it's the whole handling of the car. It, it's the whole dynamics of the car. Brembo brakes get the job done with massive stopping power. The rear has big six piston calibers four pistons in the back, huge 15 inch uh, cross drill, two piece rotors. Thickly padded manual tilt telescope and steering wheel is also an information center with 11 control functions for vehicle operations. The position in the cockpit, you know, makes you feel like a pilot. The center stack is slanted towards the driver so everything is in reach. Uh, you have the big butterfly paddles that are actually located on the steering column and not the steering wheel. So. As I'm turning the wheel, the paddles still remain in their position. That way I don't inadvertently switch gears. The touchscreen navigation is standard and the multi-function display doubles as an information center. You have a compact flash card which you can put data on, music. You can also record uh, your lap times and everything here, which records anything, all your performance variants from braking uh, to gear position to fuel economy. Got a stopwatch, driver's notes. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. If you don't want to listen to the remarkable tunes of your V6, then an 11 speaker Bose audio system will do you just right. Um, satellite radio, you know, you can switch it up from this uh, CD to auxiliary jack. Nissan will keep the production numbers rather limited for the GTR. With a life cycle of five years, 1,500 units will be produced annually going on sale this summer, the vehicle will be priced at $69,850 for a standard GTR and $71,900 for the GTR Premium. That makes it up to four times cheaper than supercars in the performance arena while still holding the pole position. For more test drive information, visit AutomotiveRhythms.com, the urban automotive experience.